Okay guys, so in this video we're going to actually begin implementing Vue.js in application. So we're going to be using Vue components to send and receive friendship requests and all that. The reason we're using Vue.js is because we don't want the user to click an add friend button and it refreshes the whole page, okay? So we want it to be dynamic at least, kind of like the real social networks you have nowadays, okay? So what we're going to be doing is using the Vue component to achieve this. So before this video, behind the scenes, I just went ahead and set up an account for my friend Emily and I set up an account for myself. Okay, so what we're going to be doing in this video is actually creating a view component. So before we jump into that, I'll go ahead and edit my profile.blade.php. So right here immediately after our profile image and all that, and before our about me, I'll go ahead and create a panel. And in that panel, I'll just have a body. And right here, this is where I'm going to put my view component. Okay, so let's take care of our component first. So right here in our resources assets JS components we have an example component that comes with view and our app.js file registers this example component i'll go ahead and edit that so i'll create a new component called friend it would be inside a component called friend.view and uh i'll have to rename this to friend.view so this will be friend and uh, all of this i won't need it so i'll go ahead and remove all of this and uh, this is where our components template is gonna live. So back in our profile.blade.php, what I would like to do is just write my friend component right here, okay? And remember, we are compiling everything in our app.js file, and this is already getting our components, all of our components are transformed using Laravel Elixir, so we don't have to even think about that. So it compares everything and it stores in the public JS app.js file, okay? So in our GOP, file everything is being done there for us so it uses webpack it compares the app.js file in the resources assets js directory and it puts it in the public js directory for us okay so we don't have to think about any of that so all we just need to run is gob so that it will compile our new component right here so if we go back to our terminal we run gob watch okay so it compiled our file and uh, if we go back to our profile the blade so we dropped our component right there let's just go ahead to our component and put in a little message so component ready so we know that's the component so if we go ahead and refresh okay so we have our component ready right there so it means it's working okay so what we are gonna do is actually set up our component so how would these components work so first of all we're gonna have about three or four different states means we'll have maybe four different buttons and each of these buttons would be displayed depending on the relationship that the current user has with the authenticated user okay for example i am viewing this particular profile or actually i can be viewing my friend emily's profile like this okay so if i'm viewing her profile i am the authenticated user and this is her profile so i'll be able to actually see maybe add friend or I, i'll see friends or i'll maybe see a message pending friend request or accept friend request depending on my relationship with her and our view component is going to help us do this display four different buttons depending on the four different states so what we're going to do is actually as soon as our view component is loaded it's going to make an ajax request to our server and when it makes that ajax request it's going to come back with a response so on that response it's going to make a judgment if these two users are friends then display this button if this use if these two users are never friends then display the add friend button if these users are having a pending friend request then display whose pending friend request it is and all that okay so our server is just just gonna use our friendship thread that we created our friendable threads and it's gonna check if those users are friends or if there's a pending friend request and then it's gonna send that data back to our view components and then our view components will know what to display okay so first things first once our component is mounted we need to send an ajax request okay so what we're gonna do here is call an ajax request once our component is mounted and we're gonna be using view resource for this and uh, if you check in your bootstrap.js file in your resources apps js directory right here you discover that we are requiring in 
view resource so we can just go ahead and use that without thinking okay and we can also use um we can also just send ajax request to our server without caring about the csrf token because lav already takes care of that so every single application request that is going out from this our view components from Vue.js, Laravel is going to intercept it and it's going to add a CSRF token so that when we send a request to our server, we are not going to have errors concerning CSRF protection. Okay, so we don't have to think about any of that. So what we have to do here is simply send our request. So this dot http dot get and the this is going to be a request to a route that we are going to create. So I'm just going to call this route check relationship status so at the end of this i'm going to accept a parameter and this parameter is going to be the id of the profile of the particular user that we are viewing okay so this is going to be like a this profile user id okay so this profile user id is going to be the profile of the user we are viewing right now okay so we are viewing a particular user's profile and once we view that user's profile we want to get the id of that profile okay and the best way to do this actually is just to implement a prop right here so we'll say props and uh, the first prop that we're gonna accept here is the profile user id okay so we'll go to our profile.blade.php and right here we're just gonna bind the profile user id to the id of the user right here that we are viewing so user id so here we are displaying the user's profile and uh, we have a component that is the friend and the component has a prop called the profile user id and what we are doing is actually binding to that component's prop and this prop is simply going to receive the id of the user whose profile we are viewing at the moment okay once it receives that prop as soon as it receives that prop it's gonna get that prop and attach it to our request so if you say check relationship sl status slash and it's gonna pass in this profile user id as a parameter okay so so as soon as it does that then we have a dot then so as soon as that request is completed first of all we receive the response and as soon as we receive the response let's just console.log response okay for now so first things first our component is loaded as soon as the component is loaded it receives a prop called the profile user id from our profile.blade.php so this is the id of the profile who each the id of the user's profile which we are currently viewing as soon as we receive that prop we would send an ajax request to the check relationship status routes which we are about to create and as soon as we send that ajax request we are attaching the this profile user id that we got from the prop to that request so it's kind of going it's going to be like a parameter in our web.php file so as soon as we get a response we just console that log that response so first things first we have to go to our web.php and set up that route okay so i'll just go ahead and do that right here with a closure for now so in our web.php file, I'll just say check relationship status and I'll say get the ID, okay? And uh, right here, I'll just say get the ID from the route and uh, I'll just say return app user find ID, okay? So first of all, we hit this route and then it takes the ID and then it passes the ID to our closure and then it finds the user of that ID and it returns it. So that's what our route is going to do. So just so that everything works correctly, let's just go ahead and check this out. And uh, our gob is watching, so all those changes would have been saved. So let's refresh. If we check our inspect, there's a response right there in our console. So if we check that response, the body is an object, and we see that is the profile of the user with ID of two. So I think that's working perfectly the way we want it to work. Okay, so just a recap before we go any further, we have a profile.blade.php. And right here we are declaring a component. We are, we are implementing our component called friend. And this component receives a prop called profile user ID, which is defined right here in our props array. What we are doing next is we are binding the prop 
property that we declared in our component to the ID of the user whose profile we are actually viewing. Okay, so for example, if I'm viewing maybe Emily's profile right here, if I'm viewing Emily's profile, Emily's ID is going to be passed as a prop to this component. Okay, so as soon as we get that prop, the next thing we do is make an Ajax request to our to our server so as soon as it's mounted we make an ajax request which is a get request to the check relationship status route and we're adding we're appending the this profile user id that we got from the prop to this uh, url okay so as soon as we get the response we are just console.login in the response okay so in our web.php file what that route simply does is it looks for the profile with user id so this id is like a parameter so it finds that user and just returns the user for now okay so let's go ahead and try that out with emily's profile so this is emily's profile and uh, i'll just go ahead and say Katy france so view my profile and of course she can't edit it so as soon as that was loaded it made an ajax request and if we go ahead to the console we see the response that has been console.locked by our view components and the object right there should be my profile okay because i'm viewing my profile so the object right there is my information